formation because one aircraft is facing in the middle. Here we go for Supernova. Professional military pilots and as you all know, 
hope you are being trained for a stock fighting. So please look at what is happening now, ladies and gentlemen. Look to her left and her right. The simulation air combat for a stock fight. School versus school. Meaning two against two. And it's not finished. Look at the big aircraft. I was probably joining this a real combat. Look at this, truly spectacular. Now, this was the simulated air combat of the PC-17. And now approaching from your left, the specialist of the PC-17 unique in the world of formation aerobatics. They will present the four a single loop. So let's connect to the lead aircraft that follow this unmatched speciality of the Swiss aerobatics. because every pilot has to apply the same force to the stick, fly the same speed, in the same angle, in order to make it precise and regular. And they continue directly with a Immermann, four Immermann, alpha looping for by a The so-called flirt approaching from your right. The uh, back aircraft is rolling around the front aircraft, which is in the world of aviation can be considered as flirty. Here we go, the flirt of the PC-17. Very elegant and romantic. And by the way, five years ago, this Swiss Air Force PC-17 won the Riyadh Team Wuhan Memorial Flirt for best overall flight demonstration. Great memory. We stay in the romantic part of the show. Please look straight ahead where the display of our two solids begins. And watch closely what is going to happen here in the sky of Fairford. With the smoke, these Swiss pilots will decide something very special for you all. So here they come, you can see them on the horizon. A small silhouette of the PC-7. Now let's guess what they're going to take into the sky. Look at this, yes, yes, it's a heart, ladies and gentlemen, including our arrow, a declaration of love to you, dear family, and a tribute to the 100th anniversary of the Royal Air Force. Sincere congratulations to the Swiss Air Force. And it will continue with two separate Superman, the left and the right. And as you can see, the PC-7 group of training aircraft is not only a fast, but also a highly maneuvered aircraft, which is demonstrated by our two swords. Watch the next close crossing distance, 3 meters, or 10 feet only. Crossing 10 feet. The pilots have to support an acceleration of approximately 4 Gs, speeding at around 190 knots. The solids are now terminating the display with the last of the crossing to our flying burger flight. Here we go. Thanks for the captain. And approaching from the right, the super near 
after close look into the lead aircraft, he will turn himself on his back. Let me introduce uh, the talent of this formation. He is approach the leader of the B-17, Captain Sir Yonor, nicknamed Johnny, on the right side, Captain Benjamin Mate, nicknamed Daffy, on the left side, Captain Matthias Rosson, nicknamed Nemo, and in the back, Captain Andreas Ney, nicknamed Benjamin. Again, this looks quite easy, but believe me, this requires a high degree of concentration and flying skills. And don't forget, there is a propeller at the front of the aircraft that can be turned It directly continues. Have a look to the left side. We will present you the beautiful waterfall. And here again, I will connect you to the pallet's cockpit. Pilatus P-7 is a famous training aircraft 
and known as the crisis and the most economical group of growth in its category. The aircraft has been produced by the seat manufacturers, the largest aircraft limited, which are sold over 467 to 20 countries worldwide. But let's go back to our solace. He will now enter a really steep turn during which he has to support an acceleration of 5G's difference. 5G's, our solace, despite of the physics of stress right now, this means that he weighs approximately 400 kilos under these circumstances, you really have to be fit. You will have shown this way that if you take the details about the class B7 aircraft, the B7 is equipped with a track and the weight name, the turbine delivering 550 horsepower, maximum take of weight, 1,900 kilos, maximum speed 500 kilometers per hour or 270 knots. The rate of time is 10 meters per second or 2,400 feet per minute. And the service is 67,000 meters of the sea level or 25,000 feet. BC-7 was introduced in 1982 and is since then used as a basic training aircraft for future military pilots in the Swiss Air Force. But let's come back to our solist who will make a procedure turn to prepare for his very last passing during which he will salute you by rocking his wings. So here we go, the salute of our solace, especially for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.
now coming to the end of our presentation. To your right, you can now observe the solo aircraft that we join in the team. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm connecting you directly to the leader's cockpit, and the leader of the PC7 team will present you his best greetings, followed by the fantastic closing bouquet in the beautiful sky of Fairford. Final salute of the Swiss Air Force PC-70. Please look straight ahead. Thank you. 